joined by Hofstra head coach Abby Morgan following today's 8-7 to overtime loss to William Mary in the regular season finale. Coach, thoughts on today's game and looking forward to uh, next weekend's Colonial Athletic Association Championship where you'll face James Madison in the semifinals. Uh, a little frustrated with today. Um, I mean, definitely a, a game. William Mary was bound to get somebody, and they got us. Um, they've been close in, in every CAA game that they've played. Um, but, you know, I, it's great that we're continuing to play, and, and um, we just need to make sure that we firm up a lot of things going into this tournament. We've got a lot of work to do in practice um, before we face that James Madison team. Um, Ferguson for William and Mary had 23 saves today. You guys had 37 shots, so you had a lot of offensive production. Was it really not good shot decision, or was Ferguson just playing fantastic in goal? A little bit of both. Um, she had a great game on uh, Friday night as well against Drexel. Um, I think she had 14 or 15 saves. and um, But our, our shots have not been great from uh, Friday and today. Uh, got a lot of them, but we need to make sure those balls go in the net. Um, you know, I think we've gotten very, very mental about shooting, and um, you know, our players can score, and uh, we play against one of the best goalies in the nation every single day, and um, you know, we, we need to realize that. And if we can beat Jackie, we can beat anybody. Coach, specifically on free position one of nine, um, you know, you had a lot of more time to kind of gather yourself and collect, you know, rather than in the flow of play. They got in quickly on us, um, and I think that we were uh, not as tough in there. We probably, if we were a little bit tougher and handled the ball a little bit better, probably could have gotten another foul and gotten another eight meter. Um, but you know, when you have a goalie who's hot and who's seeing the ball well, you have to move them. And an eight meter is sometimes the hardest place to move them um, because you've got people coming in on you. But uh, it's definitely something that we we need to get better at because the last, last two games we haven't been very good on the, on the line. Coach, just how difficult is it to play in conditions like these? Uh, well, it's our first one so far this year. Usually we play in about five of them. So, um, I mean, the only the only difference you see is sometimes with your passing. Uh, and I think we made that change in the second half. But, um, you know, and this lacrosse, we play in anything, anything but lightning. And sometimes I don't see the lightning. It just, you know, I'm, I miss it and we keep playing. But, uh, it should it, those distractions can't can't affect us. Coach Marian Miller, great effort there in the second half, try to bring your team back, ultimately yeah. tying the game actually for your team. Thoughts on her at play today? Yeah, that tying goal was a shot that I've never seen her take and uh, never seen go in that way. Um, she did a great job, and I think that you know the lesson that we've learned about Marianne is that uh, you know this is two games now where she's really shown up in that second half when our team needs it. We need her to be that way all game long um, and every game, no matter if we need her to be or not. We need her every day to work that hard. Um, but she has she has that ability to kind of take a team on her shoulders um, and, and score when we need it. So we need it all the time from her. You say she has that ability. Has she come, become that person on this team heading into next week that you rely on for that? Honestly, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know because she can be so up and down. I think the one part of her game that has been that person is draws and ground balls. Um, she's gotten the ball back for us, gotten check, timely checks when we needed it. Um, but this is, this is the first time in a while where she's done it with scoring. But she definitely has the ability to do it with scoring. Hopefully it continues. And Coach, it, the, the result of this game, while it doesn't affect your postseason position or play, um, what is the impact of losing the final game of the season, especially going up against a very tough team like James Madison in the semifinals of the tournament? Um, you know, it's the one the one thing that you can take out of it is that we've always had an overtime game in every season. I think since I've been here, I would have to check, but uh, we haven't had an overtime game yet. And we have faced every other situation except overtime. So maybe we needed it. Um, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. I don't know. But, uh, you know, it is frustrating because I, I don't think that we played our best on Friday. And you would rather go into a conference tournament with having, you know, feeling really good. But um, this is a team that's gone through a lot of adversity. And I think that once the adversity comes, they fight even more. So, again, might be a blessing in disguise that they know that they, they can't be comfortable. They have to turn it on and they have to play their best uh, because everybody else is going to bring their best too. 
Coach, I feel like you should be pretty happy just with your ball movement to generate that many shots as compared to even, let's say, a month ago. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a matter of those finishing, but you were able to generate 37 shots um, you know, recently and, and get outstanding looks. Generally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we had great looks on cage, and, um, you know, their goalie did a, did a very good job. She did. Uh, but, you know, there were definitely ones that we should have landed, um, open opportunities that were – um, you know, they needed to be goals for us. And I, I definitely am happy with generating that much. Um, but, you know, we need to, with 37 shots, you got to at least score 10, you know. Um, and that's things we got to work on this week. Coach, you were able to force 25 turnovers. Were you just pleased with the way you were able to press one there? Yeah, I mean, especially in the first half, we were, we put pressure on them and really were able to, you know, cause them to drop the ball or, or throw the ball uh, away. And that's the way that we want to play. And I think we got away from that two games ago where we were using a lot of stick-to-body contact, we were checking a lot, and we got back to our footwork. And that's, I mean, we were a great matchup with any team with speed and footwork. So we were turning them over as many times as, as we needed to, um, but we needed to limit those turnovers, getting the ball up the field safely, and, and finish it. And, you know, we put a challenge out to the offense uh, at halftime. UD is playing great. UD is coming up with the ball. Now you need to finish it for them. And uh, it came up a little short. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.